The trade war between China and the USA is well known to the world. Their mutual trust faded away long ago, and the situation was getting more critical with the recent trade war. Nobody thought any change of mind or predict any positive approach from both of the side. We believed it was going to be like this for a long time. But breaking all propaganda and prediction, the USA seems to have a change of mind and want to cooperate with China. Let's look at the behind the scene of this decession and what China is thinking. The United States and China are the two largest economies in the world. Chinese foreign trade grew rapidly after its ascension to the World Trade Organization in 2001, with bilateral trade between the US and China almost $559 billion in 2019. The US-China trade war started on July 6, 2018, when the US imposed a 25% tariff on $34 billion of Chinese imports, the first in a series of tariffs imposed during 2018 and 2019. It continued to escalate, with the US and China imposing various import tariffs on each other's products until an agreement in principle on a Phase 1 trade deal was reached in mid-December 2019. The Phase 1 trade deal was formally signed on 15th of January 2020, with its provisions taking effect on February 15th, 2020. However, that trade was uneven, with the US running a large and growing trade deficit with China, which became a major political issue in the 2016 US presidential campaign. The U.S. trade shortfall grew to $375.6 billion in 2017, before the start of the trade war from $103.1 billion U.S. dollars in 2002. U.S. President Donald Trump promised during his 2016 presidential campaign to reduce the large trade deficit with China, which he claimed was based in large part on unfair Chinese trading practices, including intellectual property theft, forced technology transfer, lack of market access for American companies in China, and an unlevel playing field caused by Beijing subsidies for favored Chinese companies. The deficit rose further to $378 billion in 2018 before easing slightly to $345.6 US dollars in 2019 after the start of the trade war, according to the Office of the US Trade Representative. The US and China imposed additional tariffs on goods imported from the other country meaning buyers in the opposing country would need to pay higher import taxes to bring their purchases into the country. At its peak at the end of 2019, the US had imposed tariffs on more than $360 billion worth of Chinese goods, while China had retaliated with import duties of their worth around $110 billion on US products. China, meanwhile, believes the US is trying to restrict its rise as a global economic power. So why is this sudden change of mind from the USA? Why did the United States change its attitude and request cooperation? The first blow came when China launched their 6G when the rest of the world was still struggling with their 4G technology. The United States has also noticed the development process of China's aerospace. After China completed the launch of the communication test satellite, the United States suddenly requested cooperation. According to the NASA administrator, China and the United States are in a space race and hope that China can become a partner. According to the NASA director, he wants to allow China to open up its space projects and share the achievements China has made in its aerospace industry. However, NASA may be disappointed. The United States has repeatedly requested cooperation but was rejected. You must know that the United States has always taken the initiative to ban China from aerospace projects. The United States bans NASA from cooperating with China is the most intuitive manifestation. Why did the sudden change of attitude request cooperation this time? The main reason is that China has made significant progress in the field of aerospace and has been able to compete with the United States and even has done even better than the United States in some projects. But not only that, the USA is massively dependent on China. You must be wondering, why is the US so ridiculously dependent in just one country? A country which shares almost no social values with the US and surely doesn't share the same political system. The U.S. depends heavily on China for providing the low-cost goods that enable income-constrained American consumers to make ends meet. The U.S. also depends on China to support its exports. Next to Mexico and Canada, China is America's third largest and by far its most rapidly growing major export market. Take pharmaceuticals for example. Over 70% of active pharmaceutical ingredients used in the U.S. market are produced overseas. Almost all of the ibuprofen sold here comes from China. It's not just chemical compounds people don't see or read about every day in the business press. It's major industries like telecom equipment that's made in China. They've become the biggest players. 
And of course, the US depends on China to provide funding for its budget deficits. It's the largest foreign holder of US Treasury securities, some $1.3 trillion in direct ownership, and at least another $250 billion of quasi-government paper. A lack of Chinese buying could turn the next Treasury auction into a rout. America depends on China because of a fundamental weakness in the structure of the US economy, a profound and worrisome lack of domestic saving. China purchased $165 billion in goods and services from the United States in 2015, representing 7.3% of all US exports and about 1% of total US economic output. US firms also export business and financial services, totaling $6.7 billion in 2014 and $7.1 billion in 2015. By 2030, we expect US exports to China to rise to more than $520 billion. That's why the Biden administration and the preceding Trump administration both agree that the coupling from China is neither possible nor desirable, and both can be considered the most hawkish US administrations towards China over the past 40 years. Kerry announced on the day following Biden's UN address that he would go to China again in his effort to seek collaboration with China. Following that, in a virtual meeting with Joe Biden, President Xi Jinping had said, China stands ready to work with the United States to bring relations back on the right track. This comes as the two nations seek to reopen lines of communication to ease acrimony and reset bilateral ties amid continued sparing over Taiwan and US concerns about Beijing's nuclear arsenal. China can make a difference in the world today and tomorrow. China is the world's leading exporter of manufactured goods. A sudden appreciation of its currency would inevitably export inflation to the rest of the world, which is not welcomed by American families struggling to find jobs. China holds the world's largest currency reserves, enough to buy up the share prices in New York or sell down the yield curve of the T-Bond, halfway into industrialization. With that, China has become one of the largest emitters of global warming gas. So, if China can be successful in achieving balanced, sustainable, and green growth, many other emerging economies will follow. Indeed, cooperation with China is inevitable, but it's risky because the Chinese Communist Party can use it as leverage against the US or as a way to fend off international criticism of its deplorable human rights record. Whether it's climate change, the COVID-19 pandemic, the opioid crisis, anti-terrorism, intellectual property protection, or North Korean tensions, the result could be the same. Even the United States' preludes for cooperation on the rule of law became an excuse for China to further hook on dissidents. Consequently, considering that the US has no other realistic choice but to cooperate with China. The most important point the United States and the West need to understand is, in today's post-crisis world, China's fundamental interests are aligned with the West. It's in China's fundamental interest to contribute to the world's economic rebalancing and continued peace and prosperity.